In Hans Talhofer's Medieval Combat, a 15th-century illustrated manual of sword fighting and close-quarter combat, the reader is thrust into a world where combat was an art form, meticulously documented in vivid detail through illustrations and accompanying text. Talhofer's work serves as a window into the sophisticated techniques and strategies employed by warriors during the 15th century. One of the most striking aspects of Talhofer's manual is its emphasis on visual representation. The illustrations, meticulously crafted and annotated, serve as the cornerstone of comprehension for readers. These depictions meticulously capture the intricacies of combat, showcasing various fighting stances, maneuvers, and weaponry. Through these illustrations, Talhofer transcends the barriers of language, offering a universal language of combat accessible to readers across different cultures and backgrounds. Moreover, the manual provides a comprehensive insight into the diverse array of weapons utilized during this era. From long swords to pole arms, each weapon is meticulously detailed, accompanied by instructions on their usage in different combat scenarios. Talhofer's attention to detail in presenting these weapons not only educates readers on their physical attributes but also elucidates their tactical advantages and limitations, providing a holistic understanding of their role in medieval combat. The manual's instructional aspect is equally noteworthy. Talhofer doesn't merely showcase combat techniques, he articulates step-by-step -step instructions, guiding readers through the nuances of various moves and strategies. The text, although concise, is rich in technical detail, elucidating the precise body mechanics and footwork required for each maneuver. Through these instructions, Talhofer bridges the gap between the theoretical and practical aspects of combat, fostering a deeper comprehension of the art of sword fighting in close quarter combat. Furthermore, the manual sheds light on the importance of mental agility and strategic thinking in combat. Talhofer doesn't limit his focus to physical techniques alone but delves into the psychological aspects of combat. He emphasizes the significance of anticipation, timing, and adaptability, underlining the necessity of a sharp mind alongside honed physical prowess. This holistic approach to combat education elevates the manual beyond a mere technical guide, transforming it into a comprehensive treatise on the multifaceted nature of medieval warfare. In addition to combat techniques, Talhofer provides insights into the cultural and social context surrounding medieval combat. The manual offers glimpses into the societal norms, honor codes, and etiquettes prevalent among warriors. It portrays combat not just as a physical endeavor but as a manifestation of societal values and ideals, offering readers a deeper understanding of the cultural backdrop against which these martial arts evolved. In conclusion, Hans Talhofer's Medieval Combat stands as a remarkable testament to the sophistication and complexity of combat arts in the 15th century. Through its intricate illustrations, detailed instructions, and holistic approach to combat education, the manual transcends its time, offering contemporary readers an invaluable insight into the world of medieval warfare. Talhofer's work not only preserves historical martial techniques but also serves as a bridge connecting modern enthusiasts and historians to the rich tapestry of combat heritage from centuries past.